Hi you guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Morgan, but you can call me Mo. I'm having an A1 day like always. I hope that you are too. And um, yeah, today we are going to get into a story-based game. We have been, at, wait, hold on, I just... I just want to comment on something real quick. Like, I know in the last couple of videos that y'all see me in, you know, I was, you know, I was splash not the great Laffy Taffy for a minute. But I went and got my nails done today. This is more like raspberry than anything. Like, y'all, mm, I don't know if y'all can tell. But, um, side note, we are going to get into a story-based game because we've been in the horror. We've been, we've been doing our thing. But those are more like, mm, hit it and quit it type of you know horror games but I wanted to get into something that you know something that we could just have for a little bit you know something that we could return to keep it going for a little bit and move on to something else maybe start something else in the meantime like I just I wanted to develop a little bit of a series and get that going so uh, today if you haven't read the title <laughs> we're gonna be playing um, what remains of Edith Finch? Now, this game is uh, it was a <laughs> this game was recommended to me by some of my gamer gal pals, um, and I wish that I could tell you their names or give you like their YouTube or their Twitch or something, but um, I don't know if they have YouTube or Twitch. I really should find that out. But um, they said that it was a really great story-based game that was you know something that was story rich as steam would put it so today we're gonna get into that and um like i said baby gamer baby youtuber y'all just have to deal with me like reading off of my phone like what's going on so let's just go ahead and get into it Okay, so we started off on a ferry, and that, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna cut some of this down a little bit, <laughs> so I can hear. But, uh, in fact, let's cut this down a little good bit, so just so I can tell y'all a little bit about the story. So, what remains of Edith Finch? is a collection of strange tales about a family in Washington State. As Edith, you'll explore the Colossal Finch house, searching for stories as she explores her family history and tries to figure out why she's the last one in her family left alive. Now, maybe this has nothing to do with the game, but I just want to say, you know, it, and people hate when I say this, but like what you think has a lot to do with, you know, what your reality is. You know, you lost your family, lost lost your house lost your car lost your job whatever but at the end of the day it doesn't make up who you are what remains of who you are is all that you believe it is <laughs> i'm so serious y'all i try to practice what i preach so leave me alone uh so so what's going on There we go. Edith Finch. Open the book, ma'am. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to start at the beginning with the house. I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. Hmm. Honestly, I'm sorry that I'm looking around so much, you guys. I love, like, great scenery, great views. I just... Like, if this was a hiking trail, which... I plan to go on some more hikes soon, but, like... I don't know. I would just be, like... 
just in awe because like what is this <laughs> all right let's see what's this here i i want this come here the mechanics of this game me me and the mechanics of this game go fight Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago, marked urgent, open immediately. Okay, so an eviction notice or something like that. Terrible. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. And as I swing that open. No trespassing. This property is protected by video surveillance. Well, this is my cribbo. Oh, yeah. See, if this was like an actual hiking trail, man. Oh, yeah. I love it. Can I fall? Let me not. In her will, my mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Maybe she thought I'd know. Or she thought the mystery would be enough to bring me back. The finches. Okay, can I go down here? I want to explore, so let's see. What's down here? The truth is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. Uh, mm, there's a lot of unanswered questions. Like, okay, you said only the house has the answers, but why? You know, there's no photo albums, there's no... Also, how old are we? probably exploring all the wrong stuff but you know I gotta wait is that snow um... the woods around the house have always been uncomfortably silent as if they're about to say something but never do it's okay love oh, hold on Wait, hold on, hold on. What was that? Missing. Wait, back up, baby girl. Mmm, back up, back up, back up. Missing. Who's missing? Let's zoom in. Milton Finch. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, Milton, so... I'm assuming that's like my brother or something. All right. The house um, was exactly like I remembered it, the way I'd been dreaming about it. They ain't never lied. This house big, but it's like a Hello Neighbor style house. <laughs> Can I get in the truck? Heal off on him real quick. Nope. That's fine. Ooh. My bad, y'all. Mm, I guess it doesn't matter which way we walk up, but we're gonna go this way. As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. It would make me uncomfortable too. Look at it. Why did y'all build it like that? Now, as a 17 year old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. I'm gonna stop talking mess because like, just because you have this big house doesn't mean like, okay, everything worked out like financially, like you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Mm. Go 
gardening, okay. All up my alley. I hoped the key might unlock the front door. It didn't. Okay, well that's disheartening. Let's go find out what it does unlock though. This is the garage, but like. Okay, so there's another door. Perfect. Swivel, swivel, there we go. gonna unlock the door girl not crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11 <sighs> okay so we in the garage there's it's just a bunch of stuff in here like standard garagey green glow and the door is just, oh, wait, hold on. The power had been turned off the night we left. Okay. For the first time in years, I felt like I was home. I thought you said the house made you uncomfortable and it scared you. What is this? Sardines? But Edith, instead of a family, there were just memories of one. Edith, Eddie, Dawn, and Lewis. Or Edie. So that's that's me and uh Lewis, Lewis, Lewis. What was the name of the, the thing that Oh Lewis oh, In Love and Memory of Lewis Fitch, December twenty seventh, nineteen eighty eight. December twenty seventh is my birthday. Through November twenty first, twenty ten. So he wasn't all that old. Beloved brother to Edith, son of Don, great grandson to Edie. Memorial Service, Finch Family Cemetery, twenty one forty one Fireweed Road. Uh, what's all of this? like how only one restaurant would deliver to our house. So we had Chinese a lot. That's, that's crazy. I hear flies. Or how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. That's a lot of salmon in this house. Let's let's get out of the kitchen. Let's go explore to, to more. What happened? Like the last time that the family. Oh. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. It looks like a murder. Edie. Yeah, that was my grandmother, right? It was like my mom was people. the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. The last night that y'all were here, like I'm assuming it was an emergency situation because this is gross. I'm not that much of a neat freak, y'all. I'm just I played a noodles, man. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it. Like a smile with too many teeth. This library is pretty swanky. I love how the bookshelves go all the way up like that. And this wraparound porch, man. What about this house is scaring you, Edith? It's on the lake. The views are incredible. That hiking trail that y'all got, like, I just... Even the fireplace peace. had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house after it sank. Okay. 
They're a book-loving family, which is cute. Don Finch, living room. So were y'all still moving in? Forgive me on the mechanics, y'all. Like, I'm, I'm still baby gamer, please. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. Sven, I like that. They're uh, like a liberal arts. Mom always family. told me to stay out of the basement. So I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. So what does the key go to then? Okay, we just came out of there, so... I guess I keep hearing My mom lies. wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. That's sad. A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. Why is the door boarded up like this? Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. Yeah, no ma'am. Let's, let's get from here. Because... Clearly, y'all don't want anyone to be in there. But look at how this is boarded up. Like, all right. Up the stairs. And y'all got hella books. Like, I'm a reader, but... After I don't Milton think it's ever Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. Y'all... Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with if she hadn't died in 1947. Who's Molly? Like, y'all just... Oh, hold on, I'm gonna turn around for y'all. Like... Oh, look. Whose room is this? Interesting. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. Great Uncle Walter's room, like, this is probably the dopest ocean theme I've seen for a room, because, like, the way that, like, first of all, the dust is making it look like ocean particle. Hello? Hello? In any event, uh, like the gradients and just like the way that everything's shining, like this whale shark over here. What is that? A rainbow trout? Like, I don't know. I just, I'm digging a drafty house. What? Okay. What's up? Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. Why is the book locked up? Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Oh. Come on. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. Let's get in there. That's... That's interesting. You locked up the book. The book was cut out. And then the cutout of the book lifted up a secret door. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Yeah, except... Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. 
but I had no idea what was behind that door. Just like I had no idea where all this was going to lead. Yeah, except just this other people's rooms right now. Orca's Island Cats. But the door is boarded up. Which doesn't make any sense to me, but little well, Charlie Brown Christmas tree. <gasps> Y'all, what is it called? Like the study of like bugs and uh, arachnids and stuff like that. But I mean, I guess when you live out in the middle of nowhere and you can only get Chinese food ordered to your house. You find interest in a lot of the things that surround you, so. Molly. Well, okay, Molly. Oh, well, hold on. What's this? I grew up Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. I didn't mean to close that that fast. My bad. Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. This is where I came from. Well, uh, I feel like I'm missing something, but there's no other like things for me to open up. So like, all right, Molly. Or not. Okay, all right, Molly. Uh, all right, Molly. Oh, there's a book. There's a book. Since Edie had spent a lot of time here before my mom sealed the doors. Get on the book. December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. Oh no, baby! The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Never. Well, okay, I just want to look before we left or try. Okay, here we go. My Halloween candy was all gone. you locked me in here what did I do like what would a little child do to where they went to bed without dinner but also you locked them in there I ate a lot of things that night poor baby I kept eating and eating. See, I just feel like the uh, go to bed without dinner punishment is just like ridiculous. Like, it's one thing if they're going through that phase where they don't want to eat and they're just being like super picky and like you tried everything for that night and you're just like, okay, well, fine, I give up. But if they're saying like, hey, I'm hungry, but you're upset with something that they did, 
dinner. At least dinner. Then I heard chirping outside my window. What are you doing, Molly? It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. And suddenly, I was a cat. What do you mean suddenly you were a cat? I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. Where'd the bird go? Did I get it? didn't even look at me. Mm. Mm. Am I still after this bird? I mean, I guess. Got her. I could tell she was getting really tired. How, how, now how? I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. Oh, then see, where's the bird? Ugh. I gobbled her up, and suddenly, I was an owl. First, Ugh. all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Ow, 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 ow. Where do I need to be? We want rabbits because we're starving, right? Right? <laughs> and maybe I'm wrong for turning away from the rabbits, but like... Yeah, rabbits! Rabbits! appreciate your imagination, but it's still very sad that your mom was just like, no dinner. Because how old are you? A mama rabbit. Alright, mama rabbit. Ah, oh, hell. Was too big to carry. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. And suddenly, I was a shark. A shark in the damn snow. And we wanted to be a shark because. Us. This is us. I rolled off a cliff and into the ocean. Now oh, sick. I'm hungrier than ever. Like a 
obsession with the ocean and bodies of water, but like um, I low key have like a little bit of thalassophobia. Not even gonna lie to you, but I think. Oh, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. Juicy seals. Give me that. I tore off her flipper, and it tasted really good. Oh my, sweetie, it's over with. Don't evade me. Tight. When I was so hungry, I jumped out of the water. And when then? I opened my eyes, everything had changed. Am I? That noise? I can't even tell what we're supposed to be doing. Oh! I get it, I get it. Oh, I want him. After the last passenger, I was still hungry. And across the water, I smelled something new. Something I had to have. So I swam towards it. Something I still had to have, huh? And the good smell went into an old pipe. All this from my bedroom, huh? It was a damn toothpaste. Ugh, out of the toilet. Let me down. Closer and closer. I'm back in my room. All of my stomach started growling. And suddenly, I was me again. Story-based game! 
No comment. I'm not sure huh? if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. <sighs> all right, y'all. We're just gonna leave this right here, right where we left it. That was Molly's part of the story. There's lots that we have to go through here, but today, I just, um, I just want to leave that right where I left it, because, because, huh? Huh? Like, we have to go through Molly, Barbara, Calvin, Sam, Walter, Odin, Gregory, Gus, Don, Lewis, Milton, and then there's me. So, uh, we're definitely going to have uh, longer episodes where we're not going to do just like one character at a time. We just are today. Oh, and I, I forgot Sanjay, but we're going to have more episodes where I do more than just one at a time. Like, I think on the next episode, damn, I forgot Spin, Ingeborg, but <laughs> let me finish what I have to say. We're going to do more than one episode. Uh, next time, I think we'll pick up Barbara. If Sven is available, we'll do that too. Calvin, we'll probably try to hit like two or three family members in one episode. Excuse me, and see just how that goes. But, let me wrap this up real quick. Thank y'all so much for watching. That was the first installment of our series of, uh, uh, What Remains of Edith Finch. Molly? Molly, like that kind of just was that was a lot of stuff going on, and her imagination was going wild. But then it took like a really dark turn. I think, I think it was the toothpaste, maybe the hunger. But, um, I, I was just trying to do something cute for, for the channel tonight, not have another horror episode. But, like, what do you mean they're coming for me and I taste delicious? You were. The predator, not the prey. So I'm confused. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Uh, join me next time. I probably will pick up some more of this uh, later on this week. But join me next time for the next installment of uh, What Remains of Edith Finch. We're gonna play through the entire story um, and make the episode a little bit longer. Play through more uh, more parts of the story next time. Uh, before I close out the video, I just have a couple things I want to tell you just in case no one's told you today. That is, drink your water, drink your tea, eat your fruit, and take your vitamins. And the next time I see you, I want to see you on the channel a little bit happier, a little bit healthier. So, that being said, I hope that you guys enjoy the rest of your day. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.